Hi, this is David at Mash IT. Bit of an unusual video tonight. Our friends over at T-Smart have kindly sent us over a dual 4K KVM switch. Now, in this day and age where a lot of us are working from home and you need a lot of screen real estate and multiple monitors, I find it really difficult having to continually change out my main PCs, my laptops, my Mac for all the different testing and work that I do on my systems. Now, a lot of monitors will have multiple inputs but it's always a pain having to try and switch through those multiple inputs to get to the machine you're using. And also, if you want to do what I want to do and use multiple displays, especially when I'm video editing, it's really nice to use what's known as a KVM. Because what this little box will do for you, it allows you to plug in two monitors and a keyboard and mouse into here, plus your two input devices, whether it be a work laptop and a gaming PC or a Mac and a PC. But literally, by having all that plugged together with a flick of a button, you can switch from one device to the other with just your keyboard and mouse on your desk. It makes it a much cleaner and simpler setup. Now in a second, I'm gonna have it all set up so we can see how it works. But first thing, I wanna just discuss what you get in the box and what is on this actual device. Now the good news is, if you buy this product, you will get all the necessary cables to set this up. But this model here is the two HDMI version models. So that means each of your computers was gonna need two HDMIs out for both of the monitors. Now most laptops only come with one HDMI and that is where you're gonna to need to consider some dongles for your other USB ports. Now we will be looking at that in a minute and obviously if it's a desktop PC you may already have two HDMI outs on your uh, graphics card or you can just easily get a display port to HDMI. So as well as the cables in the box we obviously get the power supply and we also get a very neat little remote control because although we can actually just press this little button on the front of the switch itself or you can use keyboard hotkeys, it's really nice being able to just click the button on the remote control and change it. Now on the box itself, the front's obviously got just a power switch and your main switcher box. The rest are just lights to show you what you've got enabled at the moment. All of your ports are on the back to make it nice and clean. Now you can see it is look maybe a little bit overwhelming. You've got a lot of ports on here, but it does make sense once you start plugging it in. Obviously you've got your power port, you've got your two display for your two monitors, you've got your two USBs for your actual keyboard and mouse, and over on this side of the actual switch, we've got the input screen needed from the actual laptops themselves. So for each laptop, PC1 and PC2, we need our HDMIs and our USB so that it all works seamlessly. We do also have an actual audio out so you can plug one set of speakers into this and share the speakers. And we do also have an extra USB 2 port for maybe a card reader or another device, or headset maybe, that you can plug into here as well and share between the two. So overall, a really good set of features on this KVM to have it seamlessly working on your desk with just this one little box. Now T-Smart do sell a lot of different types of KVM switches. So if this one doesn't particularly suit your needs, maybe you only want one monitor, maybe you want a, a DisplayPort version, if you head to their website, there are plenty of other different models that you can choose from. But with HDMI being a more common interface, everybody's got HDMI's on laptops, this is a great actual KVM for us to do this video. Okay, so we're up and running. I've simulated my desk over here. Got an anywhere 34 inch and a 25 inch. Both of these are connected into my KVM switch here. Now the KVM switch then splits out and goes to a gaming PC and a MacBook Pro 16. Now, one flick of the switch on there, or my remote or a hotkey, will switch between the desktop and the MacBook Pro 16. Now for the hotkeys, you can either use the scroll lock or the right control key. Now, because I'm using a compact keyboard, I've switched mine to the control key. So it's control, control one, PC one, or control, control two, takes you back to machine number two. So it's nice and quick and easy to switch between your two machines without even taking your hands away from your keyboard. So here I am on my gaming PC. Now, the good thing about my gaming PC is it does have a 3060 Ti, which has two HDMI ports. So plugging both cables directly into the back of the PC along with the USB, we're all set up with the gaming PC. That's it. Now with the Mac, it's not quite so straightforward. We've obviously got an HDMI, which I've plugged in, but it also needs a second HDMI and a USB port, which this Mac doesn't have. So what I've got here, we're gonna use a dongle that's gonna go either USB-C or Thunderbolt, and it's gonna provide us with a second HDMI port. Now also with this dongle, it gives us our USB port back as well, which the Mac is missing. So whether it's a Mac or a laptop, we can use one of these sort of adapters to give you the functionality to get that second HDMI in. Now this is just one I've picked up from Amazon. 
there are plenty of other options available depending on what you need to do. So if you've got a computer with a mini display port, you could use a mini display port to HDMI for that second port. And we've got another example here, which has got plenty of USBs and an HDMI, again, as a USB-C. So there's plenty of options you can use to give you that second HDMI on your MacBook or your laptop. So by plugging my KVM switches into that, we've now got both connections for the Mac. And as you can see, I'm going to use the remote control this time. We've now switched back to the Mac. Now, one of the good features about this is it does remember where your windows are on each screen. So as you can see here on my Mac, I'm obviously got Final Cut Pro on my main screen. I've got a web page on my secondary screen and I've got my file explorer and some notes on my actual Mac. So all three of these screens are usable. And again, if I use the remote control and switch back to my gaming PC, likewise, it's remembered everything that I've got on these machines here as well. Now, as we've got the two USB on the back, I've plugged my two dongles for both my um, Newfi Air 75 keyboard, which is a Windows and Mac keyboard, so that's quite handy. And I've also got my Razer Basilisk wireless mouse here. So I don't even have any cables sitting around on the desk. And that makes a really nice clean setup in this case. So yeah, there's a fair few wires in the back of the KVM, but as they're at the back of the desk, you're not really gonna see those anyway. And on the front of the desk, obviously I've got my Mac on one side, gaming PC on the other, and no cables on my keyboard and mouse right in front of me. Give me a really clean setup with a lot of desktop real estate. Now, as I mentioned earlier on, you can plug your speakers into this as well. And also the, we've got the third USB 2. Having thought about it, having set this up on my desk, could be great for a shared printer between the two devices or maybe a shared drive, but bear in mind it is only USB 2, so it will be quite slow. So here I am on the gaming PC. I've uh, just fired up an old game, Forge Alliance, but I like this, it uses multi-monitors, which is what I like as well. Normally I may have Discord or MSI Afterburner on the other, but this is quite nice because I can have, obviously, dual displays working nicely on this game. Works absolutely perfectly, and then with one flick of a switch, I'm back over to the Mac. So back to work, so handy. Whereas before I'd be plugging in, plugging out, because although you can maybe have a display with multiple inputs and flip between them for work and play, you can't really do that if you've got two displays. You're gonna be faffing around a lot to get it working. So this is such a seamless experience being able to switch between the two, especially if you wanna, like myself, working on a machine and you've got another machine you're testing, so handy to flip between them. Now, as well as being able to just switch between the actual two machines, your Mac and your desktop PC in this case. You can also have one monitor allocated to one PC and the other monitor allocated to the other. And then you just switch between the keyboard and mouse between the two different workstations. So if you do happen to be, I don't know, maybe training or doing something where you need both screens for both machines up and running, that's a possibility as well. This is not something that I would particularly find a use for because I like to have everything in front of me here. I've still got the Mac screen if I wanted it. Also, if you don't want to use the controller or the button, I find the button probably the most convenient. You can just use hotkeys on your keyboard to control all this functionality as well. But personally, it's so easy to just press the button right in front of you. That's my preferred way of actually switching between these two devices. Okay, so then to wrap this video up, I've been incredibly impressed with this product. The fact that we've got the two screens, giving us an amazing amount of real estate and so easy to be able to switch between my desktop PC and my Mac for when I'm working or gaming, has been so incredibly handy. Before, I'd be constantly plugging things in and out, and it was a real pain. So to just press a button and switch it like that so seamlessly and have all my windows in place, absolutely fantastic. The biggest problem I've found with this so far is the fact that I know Gary wants to try and steal it. He wants to put it on his video editing station. I'm not gonna let that happen, but I know he's gonna try it. Other than that, I think this is an absolutely fantastic product. If you don't want the HDMI version, there are other versions, so make sure you check out T-Smart's website, or I believe they're available on Amazon. Lastly, thank you for watching.